All right. So yeah, uh, once again, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our first lecture. And also for today, um, what I will be discussing with you, you know, is to give you an overview or to give you an introduction you know, about uh, computing. You know? And um, it is very important for us to know or for you to learn you know, the basics of computing, you know, especially kayo bilang mga DIT students not taking a diploma in information uh, technology, no? Uh, lalo na for those students na, you know, uh, who don't came from the TP strand, no? And the reason why you're there, uh, you're here, no? Or you, you are enrolled in the DIT is because you believe, no, that this course is something destined for you. No, tama But regardless if you have or if you don't have no, the basic knowledge about ICT or IT, now, this course, Introduction to Computing, or this subject, Introduction to Computing, now will give you the basic you know, and essential knowledge that you need in order for you to love your program, you know, which is the IT, you know, which is your know, primary uh, purpose or aim. You now, why we have this subject in your first year, you know, Introduction to Computing. You know, so, basically, the subject, uh, it will give us you know, the overview of the, the computer. No, and the computer systems. Okay, so in this lecture, no, uh, lecture one, majority of the topics no, uh, that we will talk about here is more on computers. Even in this subject, no, it's more on computers. No? So more on computers yung pag-uusapan natin. No? Specifically for our lecture for today, no, I will be discussing with you no, the introduction to computing, uh, specifically on the subtopics of the computer's digital revolution, no, and the generations of uh, the modern computer. Okay, so basically, ito yung dalawang subtopics no, na pag-usapan natin for today. No, let's start with the question: Why computers are called computing? Okay, so anyone here who has an idea, bakit kaya? Ang course title ng subject natin in the first place is Introduction to Computing. No? Bakit kaya, uh, no, since ang majority na pag-uusapan natin is all about computers, bakit kaya hindi na lang ginawang sa uh, Introduction to Computers? No? Anyone would like to answer or make idea why we are using the word computing instead of computer? Anyone who has an idea? Lalo na sa mga ICT student strands, baka may idea kayo why do you think our subject is introduction to computing. Yes, Jobber? To compute, sir. To compute? To compute. Okay. To compute. Anong i-compute natin? Are you talking about the numbers? Yes, Rex? Performing mathematical calculations. Yeah. Performing mathematical calculations. From Nick, from fundamentals about computer. What else? Any idea? Bakit kaya ang, ang, ang course title natin no, is uh, Introduction to Computing? No? Why computers are called computing? Yes, Almar? Kasi po, sir, ano, parang... Yo, mas nakakaintindi po yung computer ng numbers daw po. Nakakaintindi ang computer ng numbers, all right? How about you, Russell? You raise your hand. Uh, sir, kasi po yung computer is capable po uh mag-function uh antarden. Uh, mag-perform po ng mathematical and logical operations po. Capable to perform mathematical and logical operations. Good. Good answer. Uh, yes, Mark Joseph. Computing binary numbers, sir. Computing binary numbers, okay. Good. Mukhang may idea na about binary numbers. Sige, Aaron. Because, ano, sir, computer is more more about, ano po, analyzation and computations po. Uh, on analyzation and computations, okay. Well, thank you for your answers. All of your answers are correct. No, tama lahat yun, but um, lahat yun is more on the the modern functions na, no, ng, uh, gen ng computers na meron tayo. But 
the reason why computers are called computer, uh, computing, no? the main reason why computers are called computing is because initially, no, nung dinibelop ang first computer, you know what, its first primary function is to perform computations or mathematical calculations. No? So yung computer na meron tayo ngayon, yung computer yung kinagis na natin ngayon, is sobrang laki ng difference or sobrang layo dun sa initial computer no, that started. No? So once again, the main reason why computers are called computing is because initially, no, nung dinidevelop yung first computers, its primary function is to perform calculations or mathematical calculations or arithmetic calculations. No? So nung unang dinevelop ang computer, its main purpose is for a large-scale computation and uh, manipulating uh, or kapag sinabi nating com uh, computation or computing no it refers to the act of processing no and manipulating data or numbers no which means involving uh, you know performing uh, various types no of mathematical and logical operations no kaya naman the word computer no uh, the word computer itself no is derived from the latin word computer uh, and that's the spelling computer so which means ang ibig sabihin ng latin word na yan na computer is to calculate okay to calculate kaya nga di ba pa calculation numbers math uh, computing no so once again early computers were initially designed no to perform complex mathematical calculations no, such as those uh, required for you know scientific research for engineering you know, and other uh, scientific or mathematical tasks no and kinalaunan no as time goes by no computers have evolved no to handle a wide range of tasks no hindi na lang siya for mathematical calculations it's now also used for you know data storage for information processing and the rest of the uh, the informations na sinagot nyo kanina, no, and for communication, no, however, no, the term computing has remained in use to describe, no, the broader field of using computers and other related technologies for a variety of purposes, no, hindi lang siya for <clears throat> mathematical computation, no, so that's why, no, if ever na magbabasa kayo ng mga references or old textbooks, no, about computer, no, some of them are mentioning that abacus. No, if you're familiar with abacus, no, uh, according sa mga uh, old references or mga old textbooks, no, uh, they mentioned that, uh, or some of them are mentioning no, that abacus is considered as the oldest computer, no, or the first computer. No, and some of them says no that abacus cannot be considered uh, as the first computer, no, just uh, para ano lang, para uh, yung iba, sinasabi nila na uh, kung Abacus daw ang consider na first computer. Yung iba naman, sinasabi nila na Abacus is just a precursor, no? Or siya lang yung nagpasimula ng modern computers. No? So when we say precursor, it's something that comes before, no? Uh, kasi nga naman, kung i-analyze natin, no? If computers, uh, if kung yung, yung initial or primary function ng computer is for calculation, now we can consider abacus no which is abacus ito yung mechanical device no used for for, uh, for for performing basic arithmetic calculations no so if if kung cal uh, calculation function yung pag-uusapan no abacus can be considered as the first computer but if we are talking about the computer no as we use it today no na kung saan kapag sinabi natin computer in this age uh, it refers to an electronic machine no, that is capable of performing uh, sobrang lawa or it's capable of performing a wide range no, of data processing tasks. No? So, hindi natin consider si Abacus as the first computer. No? Kung baga naging tool lang din siya no, for the rise of computers. No? And uh, uh, this history and evolution no, is mapag-uusapan natin, mapag natin in our next lectures or in, in our next discussion, no? So, going back with computers, no? Uh, 
computers nowadays is nagagamit no and nakikita natin everywhere tama uh, because computers everywhere can do a lot of things no and people of all ages are using different types no and different uses of computers no from pc personal computer Meron tayong mga desktop, meron tayong mga laptop, no, even the tablets, no, the iPads, and mobile devices or cell phones are also considered or classified no, as uh, computers. Okay, so from computing, no, computing function used for calculations, now computers turned into another piece of technology wherein we can use it now, no, on our daily lives. No, so once again. Nakikita at nagagamit na natin ang computers everywhere, no, at schools, at work, no, in every businesses, and even at our homes, no, and everywhere we go, no, computers are visible and functional, no, sa kahit saan tayo tumingin, computers are being used, are being uh, maximized, no, are being utilized, no, so it means that the profound uh, impact of computing, no, on our lives can be seen. No, in numerous ways, no, no, kung saan it revolutionized the way we work, no, the way we communicate, and the way we interact with the words. No? Lalo na sa generation nyo, or sa generation natin, no, na lumaki tayo that computers are, you know, um, there are a lot of technological advancements and innovations already. No, na talagang, uh, it gives us convenience. No, but let's imagine those era na kung saan wala pang computers. No, and how difficult it will be for us, no, the kumilos and kumala on our day lives, no? So as you can see on our slides, no, in this generation na meron tayo ngayon, computers, modern generation, no, we use computers as, or we use computers in, no, the first one is in communication and uh, connectivity, okay? No, so unang una, computers has transformed how we communicate, no, na kung saan, because of computers, no, we can now instantly connect with people around the world. No, kahit gaano kalayo, you know, we can now communicate breaking down geographical barriers. No, hindi katulad before nung hindi pa natin nagagamit ang computers for communication. No, na kung saan na kung pa no, these two letters or uh, tinatawag na pen pal, no, may pen pal or snail mail. No, na medyo, there are uh, time intervals no na aabutin ng ilang days or ilang weeks no or ilang months bago mo mabasa no kung ano man yung laman ng message uh yun, no? depending on the geographical distance but now no because of computers kahit sa ang lugar no kahit magkakaiba tayo ng time zones we can communicate real time no lalo na ngayon no there are a lot of communications and connectivity platforms no, that we are using no nandiyan yung mga Messenger, of course, the number one messenger, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, uh, Twitter, X, um, ano pa bang mga communication na ginagamit? Ngayon, may mga nausin na din ngayon na ano, ano yung sa video platforms? Omigel, yan, Omigel TV, ano pa? And there are a lot more to mention. No? So, sobrang dami. Because of the technology or because of the computers, no, it becomes possible possible for us to communicate kahit nasa ang lugar or kahit sobrang layo ng geographical locations or kahit nasa iba't ibang time zones pa tayo no so today uh, aside from those uh, applications that I mentioned now we have email now we have you know, in app messaging platforms now that have replaced the traditional mail no that is now allowing us for a quick no and for efficient uh, communication no so because of computers, we also have this video conferencing tools no, that we are using. We are using now no, the Google Meet. No? So imagine kung walang Google Meet, paano tayo magkaklase, lalo na nung nagkaroon ng pandemic. No? Uh, wala pang mga Google Meet or wala pang computers for you know, video conferencing, baka we can't imagine no, kung ano na yung nangyari. No? So uh, we are now no, uh, currently enjoying no, the, the computer no, in communication and connectivity through this uh, Google Meet. No? Aside from Google Meet, meron tayo mga Zoom, MS Teams, Skype, no, and other video conferencing tools no, that have become essential no, for remote work and online classes. No? So, andyan din, andyan yung mga iba't ibang social media platforms. 
on uh, uh, Viber, no, WeChat, and other platforms that enable us to communicate and to connect no, with other people. Uh, so that's the communication and connectivity no, uh, for the modern generation. Uh, anyone who would like to share their inputs about communication and connectivity? Anyone? None? If none, can I see the uh, thumbs up button? If we're clear with communication and connectivity. All right, good. Let's go with the next one, no, which is after the, the communication and connectivity. Now we have the information access. Okay, so because of computer, now, of course, with the help of the internet, uh, it provides unparalleled access no, to information and knowledge. When kapag sinabi natin unparalleled access no, to information and knowledge, it means that because of computing or because of computer and because of the internet, no, it, it, it has provided us with extraordinary, extraordinary ways no, for us to acquire information in ways no, that were previously unimaginable. No, na, na because of computer, possible pala na with just one click from our computers, now we can gather uh, vast information resources. No, since yung internet natin ngayon is a repository of information, no, either yung mga texts, no, mga articles, journals, uh, research papers, no, videos, pictures, no, that anytime we need those types of informations, no, uh, we can freely access no, because those informations are freely accessible for us because of the computers, no, because of the internet, no, because of the gadgets no, na meron tayo ngayon. No? So freely, uh, it becomes freely accessible to anyone. No? Of course, syempre, kailangan meron kang internet connection. No? That's why kilalang kilala natin ngayon ang Google no, as the number one search engine. No, because of Google, it enables us to find specific information no, na hinahanap natin with just one click. No, so because of computer, no, it has made it possible for us to find answers no, to a wide range of questions in a matter of seconds. No, kaya every time meron kayong mga assignment, no, kung before, uh, ako naabutan ko yung era na every time may mga assignments or may mga homeworks, kailangan mo pang pumunta ng, uh, ng library. No? or kailangan mo pang magbasa ng mga textbooks, or kailangan mo talaga makinig sa lecture for you to come up with an uh, answer sa inyong mga assignments or homeworks. But now, no, sa generation nyo ngayon, because we already have these advanced technologies, no, you can freely access Google, you can freely access uh, ano mang, uh, other search engines, you can also freely now access chat GPTs, no and other AIs no sino dito yung ano no sino dito yung guilty that uh, you are using Google or you are using Chat GPT for your assignments meron ba can I see those hands na guilty can I see the laughing uh, emoji uh, reaction kung meron ayan <laughs> no? so ayan no hindi mo mawala yan Google lang sir sure ka ba diyan din parang hindi naman may joke lang no uh we can also actually we can we can maximize no, the use of chat gpt no but make sure na uh, you are also you know you are also filtering the information that you are getting from chat gpt no because you have to remember that chat gpt is an ai language model no ai language model lang siya meaning yung uh, yung information that the chat gpt is giving us it, it is based pa rin, no from uh, the information coming from the uh, internet repository. No, but you also have to filter kung ano yung binibigay ni ChatGPT. But, but ChatGPT is a great help. Yun nga lang, kailangan mo pa rin ng human intervention or human uh, you know, decision if you're going to trust the information that is provided to ChatGPT. No? Kasi itry nyo, ano, itry nyo magtanong kay ChatGPT ng mga logical questions. Now you can see that ChatGPT is hindi siya 100% accurate to provide you information. No? So try nung tanongin sa ChatGPT ng mga you know, logical questions. No? So for, uh, kasi trinay ko yan before, eh. uh, I'm trying the ano, uh, algorithm no, na pinaprovide ni ChatGPT. No? Although nakakausap mo siya, pero yun nga, if you're, you're, you try to ask logical questions, medyo may mga papal niya siyang sagot. No? So ako trinay ko before, for example, uh, parang, ano, parang, uh, parang mother's, uh, Jack's mother has 
uh, three, yung mga ganong logical questions. Now you can either, pwede nyo itry siya later. No? Try nyo tanongin si Chad GPT ng mga logical questions. Uh, mga tricky questions na no? ma-identify nyo kung hindi ba ito. So, uh, yun nga, uh, like what I'm saying, no? in this uh, information access no? brought by the modern uh, generation of computers, no? Kay, minsan, no? because of computers, kahit yung mga information na hindi dapat i-access, no? like personal information is na-access. No? Like what happened with PhilHealth no? and other online sites uh, na nahap, no? where confidential uh, information is na-access. No, but that's for someone na may malayong talagang knowledge when it comes uh, to the back end no, of using computers. No, so aware ba kayo sa recent na nangyari with PhilHealth, with PSE? No? Uh, na kung saan yung sa PhilHealth issue naman, it's because of uh, the Medusa ransomware virus. No? Uh, Medusa is back variant siya ng, uh, ng ransomware. No? But anyways, uh, wag natin masyadong mag-usapan yun. We have a separate subject for that. So yeah, going back, after the communication and connectivity and after the information access. Uh, by the way, uh, I am clear with my elaborations for information access. Uh, can you see the heart react, uh, reaction? All right, good. No? So uh, yes, you're raising your hand. Someone is raising your hand. Or not in the lab. May question ba? None? Okay, good. Let's go with the third one, which is the e-commerce no, and online shopping. Okay. Uh, maybe can someone share or, you know, uh, share an input no, about this e-commerce and online shopping you know, with the help of computers, modern generation? Anyone would like, who would like to share an input? Yes, friends. Uh, sir, unlike before, our traditional uh, shopping is like tayo pa mismo yung pumunta sa mga stores. Now, mm -hmm. nowadays, uh, na-access na po natin yung iba't ibang stores through online shopping and other online shopping platforms like Lazada, Shopee. Uh, All right. Thank you so much. That's a good answer. No? That's a great answer. Tama yung sinabi niya. Yes, Dylan. Go ahead. Uh, outside po dun sa mga pwede po mag-access ng stores through online, pwede, ano po, apektado po dito yung sa payments po natin. Like, exactly. like unlike po natin na uh, gagamit na po tayo ng credit card sa physical stores, pwede na po tayo gumamit ng mga cashless like Maya, PayMaya, Gcash, and Alright, exactly. That's correct, no? Uh, meron po ang isang kamay na nakita earlier. Uh, Stephen, is it you? You raise your hand. Ayun nga po, sir, gaya ng sabi nila. Mas napapadali na po ngayon yung pagbili, pag-shopping online na hindi lang po, hindi lang po basta gamit or mga damit yung pwede pong mabili online ngayon. Pwede na rin po mag-order mag through online ng mga food dyan po, sir. Tsaka pwede na rin po mangutang online ngayon, sir, sa Shopee. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, all of those answers no are correct. No, by France, by Stephen and Dylan. No, so computing has also revolutionized no with the way how we shop or how we buy online, or making it convenient for us no just to browse, just to purchase and receive products and services online, no without actually going to personally not to a physical store. No, and aside from online shopping. No, kasabay rin ng pag-ship natin from traditional shopping to online shopping. Kasabay rin yan, of course, no, yung pag-ship natin to online payments. No, as mentioned by Dylan, no, we are using mobile wallets. We have the Gcash, we have the PayMaya, we have the CoinsPH, no, and a lot more. No, marami pa. Uh, we also have uh, PayPal. Uh, we also have Wise Transfer. We also have Dell. No? So, and there are a lot existing more. Uh, no? So we can include here no, the e-banking, no, the mobile banking. No, as I before, we need to physically go to, to banks. No, pero ngayon, with an application of the different banks, we can do electronic banking. We can do mobile banking. No? So because of computers, it becomes possible for us to do things no, that is giving us convenience. Na hindi na natin kailangan ilumapan. 
class. No? So it's because of the help of no, our modern generation computers. All right. So after the e-commerce and online shopping, we also have the health care and medicine. No? So anyone would like to share an input about uh, how modern generation computers are helping no, the healthcare and medicine industry? Yes, uh, Raven. Um, audible po ba ako, sir? Yep. Uh, nung, uh, sa healthcare po, tulad nung pandemic, since we cannot go out, meron po tayong parang um, uh, katulad nung sa um, Vice President uh, na ginawa ni Vice President Lenny before is yung uh, bayanihan i-consulta po. Uh, yun po yung is sa pwedeng example for healthcare. Then sa medicine po, ganun din po, uh, um, uh, we can order online ng medicine din. Sila na po magpapadala sa atin since we cannot go out nga before. Alright, thank you so much for sharing. It's more on uh, the online services no, that we can enjoy no, in the healthcare and medicine industries. Any other insights or inputs about healthcare and medicine? Uh, yes, Lawrence, go ahead. Uh, yung sa healthcare po, sir, hindi ka na po, yung dati, tulad po, yung pipila ka pa po ng mahaba, mag ka pa po. Sa ngayon po, uh, pwede ka na po magpa-schedule na kung anong oras ka po pupunta at exactly at ano pong date na exacto ang pupunta ganun po sir All right no, actually that's correct no uh, with the help of the appointment system and the uh, scheduling system no uh, hospitals and other industries are using that appointment or scheduling system no so dito sa modern uh, sa healthcare and medicine industry no computing also plays uh, an important no and crucial role in diagnosing diseases aside from those online services no, that was mentioned by your classmates. Um, naging crucial then ang modern generation computer no, in diagnosing diseases, no, managing patient records, and even in advancing medical research and treatments. No? So if it's not because of computers, medical laboratories and imaging no, would not also be possible like the MRI, no, like the CT scans, no, the X-rays no, that rely on powerful computing no, for a detailed imagery no, and analysis. No, and also because of computers or yung mga supercomputers or mga simulation computers, no, it also becomes easier for our researchers and doctors uh, to help in finding new drugs and treatments. No, so ima let's imagine na lang kung let's say walang mga computer yung nag-exist, no, paano kaya gagawin ang X-ray? No, yung mga imaging, yung mga CT scans, mga MRI, no? So, uh, it's just unimaginable no, to imagine na uh, paano kaya yung health situations no, ng mga, mga traditional people, traditional people na yan. Ng mga people, nung uh, era na wala pang mga computers, so it will be difficult uh, for them to identify kung ano yung mga sakit nila, no? So, but because of these computers nowadays, it will be easier for us no, to diagnose no kung ano man yung mga dapat na itayag daw sa mga katawan natin no? because of this, yung mga you know, medical uh, apparatus no? or medical equipments. All right, let's go with the business and industry. No? So anyone who would like to share an insight or input how computers or modern generations are helping no? our business and industry. Uh, can you see other hands? Uh, Rex Andrew. Pero mas mapapadali po yung pag-i-introduce sa po pagbebenta po ng mga produkto. Hmm. Mapapadali ang pag-i-introduce at marketing ng products. Ah, uh, Kisha. Sir, same lang po sa sinabi nung last nung nagsalita. Uh, mas malawak po yung pag-i-introduce nila ng products nila and pagka-campaign nila sa business nila. All right, thank you, Jobert. Ano sir, parang ganun nga din sir, pero mas ano po, alimbawa ang binibenta po nila is uh, damit po, is ano po nila yun, i-demo po nila kung gano'ng kalaki, gano'ng katiba yung yung damit na yun, gano'ng ka-cotton yung damit na yun, ganun po. Alright, sige, it's more on uh, demonstration, online selling, sige Stephen. 
Ayun po sir, pwede ka po, ngayon ka sir, pwede ka po, pwede ka na magkaroon ng business kahit wala kang physical store. Pwede mo po magamit yung mga online shopping app like Lazada, Shopee para magkaroon ka po ng online store. Like, ayun nga po sir, gaya kanina, nakakapag-order po sila online. So, mas ano po ngayon sir, tsaka mas tipid po akong baga kasi di, hindi ka na, wala na, wala ka pong gagamitin na mga materyales para magkaroon ka po ng isang store. Then, yung pagdating po sa may, ano, sa may marketing po nila, pwede po nila idaan through advertisement, sir, online. So, mas mapadali po, hindi po gaya noon na hindi pa po, la, hindi pa po ganun siya kadali access. Hindi ma po po, sir, magtayo ng mga tarpaulin, like mag-ikot-ikot para ipalagana po yung product mo, like ipalagana po yung business mo. Alright, thank you so much. Ako po pala ganap ng insights, Stephen. Yes, Jobert. Ay, sorry. Natawag ko na pala. Angel Rose. <laughs> Angel Rose? Um, sir, um, uh, pwede nila matrack yung, ano, yung sales or datas nila gamit yung computers. Alright, thank you. No? So, that's Google Analytics. No? So, actually, yun ang iniintay ko. No? aside sa mga online uh, services no? uh, that was mentioned. But all of your answers are all correct, no? but majority of those is more on uh, the online services na uh, nagiging convenient uh, for businesses, and even not only for businesses, but for consumers no? or users na nagiging uh, mas madali no? ang uh, nagiging business transactions. No? So, of course, uh, dito sa business and industry, no? Uh, sa iba't ibang business industries, computing has also transformed uh, the business landscape because of computers. It becomes easier for businesses to do inventory management. No, it becomes easier for businesses, as mentioned by Angel Rose, no, uh, to monitor and to track the data analytics. No, kasi kung before, uh, para in order for them to check the status or the growth or the profitability or the loss of the business. Kailangan nilang identify mga manual operations, but now because of computer, it, it becomes easier for them to check or to track in order to analyze the data analytics, ano man yung mga businesses ang pinagigawa nila, no, na kung saan companies uses data no, to make informed decisions or computer to make informed decisions, to optimize operations, no, and to understand the customer behavior. No? So actually, uh, even the algorithm now, no? Uh, the computer algorithm no, are being used by businesses no, in order for them to target no, other customers that are using computers no, or mobile gadgets. No? So, andyan na rin yung mga paggamit ng mga automations and uh, artificial intelligence. No? Uh, lalo na, no, we also mentioned earlier yung, uh, yung queuing system. No? For, uh, yeah, I, I don't know kung na-mention, but yeah, queuing system, to, kung pupunta ka sa mga banko, di ba? Uh, may mga e-banking tayo pero of course there are still transactions na kailangan mong physically pumunta no but pag pupunta ka uh, hindi nakatulad before yung sobrang haba ng pila kasi ngayon meron tayo or nagkakagulo no meron tayong mga gina yung mga businesses no may mga ginagamit mga queuing systems no may mga automations na ginagamit may mga artificial intelligence na ginagamit no that becomes more convenient no for business industries no to perform no their business transactions. Okay. Uh, the last one here on our slide, entertainment and media. Uh, can someone share any insight or inputs about uh, the health of modern computers, the entertainment and media? Uh, can you see other hands, please? Yes, Russell. Uh, sir, yung sa entertainment po, uh, marami pong uh platforms po katulad po ng mga like sa mga e-readers po may mga e-books po then uh for mga may e-sports din po tayo for entertainment and sa media naman po is meron po tayong uh, mga like uh mga application for editing po to enhance po yung media production po ayan po all right thank you uh yes i'm hajer Ah uh, sir, hindi po tulad ng dati, pag manonood ka po ng movies, kailangan po po mag-rent ng CDs or pumunta po sa cinema. Ngayon po may mga online 
services po tulad ng Netflix at Hulu. All right, thank you for that. Yes, last one, Jing. Um, katulad din po nung sinabi ni Alma Ajar po, di, di na po natin kailangan pumunta sa mga cinema, like manood ng mga movies. Pwede na din po tayo makanood sa mga Netflix, ganyan. Tapos po, um, pwede din po natin magamit yung computer bilang entertainment para po ma, ano po natin, magawa po natin yung mga gusto natin gawin. Like, mag, maglaro po ng online games, ganun po. Alright. Thank you so much. Yes, Dylan, for uh as uh, um ano as 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 entertainment and media um uh, while pwede po tayo mag-entertain gamit yung mga online services like Netflix and some online games sa through entertainment and media po dahil po may mga video editors photo editors pwede po natin mag-share ng mga ideas para po ma-fascinate yung mga viewers all right thank you so much no all of your inputs are correct no so Computing um, has also redefined no, how we consume entertainment, no, offering us an array of digital contents and experiences. And also because of computing, because of computer, uh, as mentioned no, by your classmates, we are now enjoying video and uh, music as well, no, video and music streaming services. Now we have the Netflix, the famous uh, Netflix now. We also have the Disney Plus. Uh, and other uh, movie streaming, no, actually, madami and other movie streaming uh, services. Now, we also have Spotify, no, and even yung mga video games, no, and other entertainment and media, no, na meron tayo and magagamit natin is all because of computers, no. And there are a lot more, no, that could add up to this list on our slides, no. Uh, halos lahat ng ginagalawa natin. No, halos lahat ng pinupuntahan natin, computers or computing system is being used. No, sa pagpunta natin sa banko, the queuing system, it's product of computing. Pag mag apply tayo ng NDI no, uh, for government services, no, it's computing system. No, pag sasakay tayo ng LRT, it's transportation. Hindi ko na lang nailagay ko, but marami yan. No? Uh, transportation aspect naman, pag sasakay tayo sa LRT, no, we, and we will be using big cards. No, it's using computing system. No, sa mga establishments, no, the use of CCTV and other security measures. No, like yung mga biometrics. Kung pupasok ka sa mga buildings that are requiring biometrics. Uh, or sa HR, no, uh, biometrics or yung mga RFID. No, it's using computer system. No, so as you can see, computers are everywhere. No, so these examples, no, that we mentioned, no, illustrate how computing, no, has touched uh, nearly every aspect of our lives. Now, reshaping how we live, now how we work, or how we learn, now, and uh, how we interact, of course. Now. So these things now, that we mentioned, and a lot more to mention, now, are examples of a profound impact. Now, and of course, now, it will continue to evolve now, since uh, continuous then, now, yung ongoing na technological advancements that we are experiencing sa ating modern computer generations okay and uh no yung mga na mention natin na examples no it becomes possible no since the evolution of the electronic era of computing no so basically we have two periods of computing based on technology no so yung mga pinag-usapan natin earlier no uh is hindi siya magiging possible kung walang nangyaring evolution no dun sa modern generations that we are now enjoying no? So basically, we have two periods of computing based on technology. We have the first one, the mechanical era. No? It's the time between 1950 and 1840. And we have the electronic era between the 1940 and to present. No? So in the first one, no, yung tinatawag natin na mechanical era. No? In this mechanical era, this is the time that we have. This is the time between 1450 and 1840. No? and uh, the electronic era. No? So early computers, um, ay, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> no? So early computers, no, during uh, the mechanical era, no, or should I say computing, or um, calculation systems, no, then yung mga time, uh, 
na abacus no and mechanical ang gamit no so for mechanical era of computing no katulad ng sinabi ko kanina it all started no with the early calculation device no which we know as the abacus no so itong abacus na ito no as you can see on this slide this is how the abacus looks like no so it was invented in ancient mesopotamia na ngayon is uh, kilala uh, as the countries of Iraq and Iran no kaya itong abacus na ito it's is one of the you know the earliest known calculation devices no so the history of computing begins with the ancient civilizations needs no for tools for them to perform mathematical calculations so na naging dahilan which led to the development of early calculation devices no so dito sa mechanical era uh, sinasabi na the first period of uh, or the first period the work computer started no from mechanical era kasi diba sabi natin kanina computing start uh, computer started as a computing device no so ito din nagsimula no imagine diyan ang pinaka itong abacus na to ang pinaka uh, nagsimula ng concept ng computer na ginagamit natin ngayon no so from abacus now which is ang initial purpose once again is for counting no so Diyan, uh, yan yung ano, no? yan yung pinaka, uh, imagine ang tatalino ng mga tao, no, no? For the, from this abacus, nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng mga technologies natin. No? After the abacus, yan, the, as we can see on the slide, no? the mechanical counting machine. No? So dyan nagsimula, no? which is ang pinaka purpose nitong mga mechanical era na to, no? is for calculations. No? Then, after the period no, ng abacus, no nagkaroon naman ng tinatawag natin yun nga na, na mechanical calculators no dito naman sa period na ito no ng mechanical calculators na kung saan it's during the 17th and 18th century no na kung saan nagkaroon ng mga devices to automate arithmetic or na automate yung adding and subtracting no kasi ito, ito na yung period na kung saan nagdevelop yung tinatawag natin na Pascal's calculator no, Pascal's calculator, also known as the arithmetic machine or Pascaline, no, is a mechanical calculator invented by, Bla by Blaise Pascal in 1642. No? So in the year 1642, no, this, uh, this French mathematician no, with the name of Blaise Pascal, he designed no, this Pascaline or the Pascal's calculator no, that could perform addition and subtraction. No, so from abacus, no, so from abacus na manual, then uh, naging counting machine, then naging uh, Pascal's calculator, which is primarily uh, invented, no, to perform calculations or computing, no. So after this 17th or 18th uh, century, no, ng abacus in the Pascaline computer, um, during the 19th century naman, no. Um, sa 19th century period, no, or this 19th century period, uh, laid the foundation for modern computing, no, with the work of these two people, no, the work of Charles Babbage and the Ada Lovelace, no, na kung saan during this time, no, nagkaroon ng programmable machines, no, and algorithms, no, so during this 19th century. No, ito yung time na kung saan nagkaroon ng tinatawag natin na analytical engine or analytical machine, no? So itong analytical engine uh, na ito, no, it's designed by Charles Babbage. No, it is uh, uh yung analytical machine, no, it's considered as the earliest uh, mechanical general purpose computer, no, na kung saan itong analytical engine na ito is now capable to execute programs, no, na naka-store sa tinatawag natin na punch cards. So, so itong punch cards naman na ito, no, it is a piece of uh, card, uh, card stack, no, na noon is nagsaserve as a storage device, no, that stores uh, digital data, no, using punch holes. No, hindi lang ako nakakalimutan ko lang maglagay ng picture ng punch, punch cards and punch holes, no, but later on you can uh, check with Google, no. So, uh, itong dalawang tao na to, no, ang sinasabi na naging pioneer no uh for starting the computer no so charles babbage dun sa inimbento niya analytical engine and uh si ada lovelace for the first computer algorithm no 
So this is how the analytical engine no, by Charles Babbage looks like. No? And because of this invention of Charles Babbage, no, so dahil dito sa concept and invention of this analytical machine or analytical engine, no, Charles Babbage was considered as the father of computer or the father of computing kasi siya ang pinaka nagsimula ng idea or concept ng computer. No? So ito pa lang taong to. No, ito pa lang taong to ang uh, naging dahilan kung bakit mayroon tayo mga technologies na ginagamit ngayon. No, kaya siya yung uh, tinawag or considered no, the father of computer. No, kasi yun nga, siya nga yung pinaka nagsimula no, ng idea or concept ng computer. No? And in order, no, for this, uh, in order for this analytical engine, no, um, in order for this analytical engine, no, na dinevelop or dinesign, no, ni Charles Babbage, in order for this na mag-function ng maayos or ma-implement yung function niya, no, kinailangan naman ni Ada Lovelace, this girl or this lady, which is an English mathematician, no, na kinailangan niyang mag-develop ng algorithm intended for the implementation on Babbage Analytical Engine. No, kaya naman because of that, no, si Ada Lovelace, kung si kung si Charles Babbage ang considered na father of computer, si Ada Lovelace naman dahil siya yung nag uh, siya yung nag uh, you know, nag-implement nag uh, um Nag-develop ng algorithm, si Ada Lovelace naman ang referred to as the first programmer because of the algorithm that she developed. No? So Charles Babbage, the father of computer, the father of computing, Ada Lovelace, the first um, computer programmer. No? So after this um, 28th century naman, uh, uh, yeah, after this, ito kasi 19th century, no? Um, during the 20th century, parang double the no? So during the 20th century naman, no? Ito yung nagkaroon ng transition, no? From mechanical to electrical computing, no? Kasi dito naman sa 20th century nagkaroon, no? Ng development of electronic and digital computers. No? So dito na tayo na ngayon nagkaroon ng tinatawag natin na INIAC, no? Na EDVAC and uh, UNIVAC, no? Can someone read uh, the contents here in our slide? Uh, can you please read? Yeah, go ahead, Raven. Uh, yung uh, electrical computing was the same as All of it. Yung sa uh, ENIE. Okay. Yung ENIEC. ENIEC completed in 1945. The electronic numerical integ integrator and computer was one of the first electronic general purpose computers capable of performing a wide range of calculations. But it didn't go back. Yeah, Edback. Edback. Uh, in 1949, the electronic discrete variable automatic computer introduced the stored the stored program concept where both data and instructions were stored in the same memory. Univac 1. The Univac 1 Universal Automatic Computer developed in 1951 became the first commercial, commercially produced computer and played a pivotal role in, in data processing for the U.S. Census Bureau. Okay. So thank you for that, no? So ito yung ano, no? Ito yung, uh, on the 20th century, dito na na-develop yung mga INIAC, no? The INVAC and UNIVAC, which is ito yung mga tinatawag natin na first generation of computers, no? So this is how, no, this early computers looks like, no? Uh, ito yun, yung INIAC, INVAC, and UNIVAC 1, no? So this are, uh, this is how no early computers look like no so as we can see medyo may mga kalakihan siya no na kung saan uh, it needs ng malalaking rooms in order for this early computers to be stored no so this is the INIAC uh, which is um in a room ano siya no from floor to ceiling no then uh, uh, the the NVAC no and this is the UNIVAC one na medyo nag-improve na siya 
No? So ito yung mga tinatawag natin na first generation of computers. No, na kung saan itong mga first generation of computers na ito, ang, ginagam ang ginagamit nitong um, basic components no, like memory and the CPU and the central processing unit is yung, pinata yung mga vacuum tubes. No? So this is how vacuum tubes looks like. No? So uh, dun sa first generation of computers, no, this serves as the memory, the central processing unit. No? Ito yung mga vacuum tubes. No? Uh, and uh, vacuum tubes, no? so as you can see, uh, medyo malalaki siya as you can see on our the, uh, first slide. No? This is how it looks like uh, as you can see on our presentation. No? So the first generation of computers, they use these vacuum tubes for its electronic components and was capable of performing a wide range of numerical calculations. No? So ganyan ang composition na gamit before no? for the first generation of computers. No, yan yung nagsiserve na components like memory and CPU, no? Na kung i-compare natin sa memory and CPU components na yun, no, is sobrang laki ng difference niya, no? So no first generation of computers, components pa lang na vacuum tubes is medyo malaki na, no? What if pa yung mga first generation of computers, no? Uh, so kung titingnan natin, no, sa mga photos documented uh, ng first generation of computers no we can identify no na yung mga first generation of computers no is need mo ng isang buong room no to store no those first generation of computers no so if, if, if we compare natin now when it comes to its size no sobrang laki na ng difference now from the first generation of computers to the present generation of computers no na meron tayo ngayon no uh, kasi ngayon, we have mobile or portable computers na nagkakasya sa ating bulsa no? or yung iba naman ay naisusuot natin sa ating mga wrist no? uh, that we can bring no? uh, wherever we want. No? So when it comes to the difference to its price naman, ganun din. No? Sobrang laki din ang difference. Uh, kasi noon, no, with the first generation of computers, it's very expensive na kung saan ang nakaka-afford lang is yung mga large organizations. No? Kasi if every man or every man no, na, uh, na may first generation of computers, um, uh, ito yung mga, yun nga, mga malalaking na large-scale organizations na kailangan for computation. No? Uh, since ang pinaka-function nga noon ng first generation of computers is for large-scale computing. No? So yung mga large organizations lang din ang may need na gumamit and uh, because uh, uh, in order for this first generation of computers to function no, is kailangan mo ng malakas na uh, na kuryente talaga no so uh, that's why medyo expensive no ang first generation of computers noon no and in this generation of computers no ang ginaga ang ginagamit noon ng mga input and output no and storage is yung mga uh, punch cards no uh maghanap nga tayo ng itsura ng punch cards lihat na na punch card I <laughs> All right, well, yeah, no? So this is the punch card, no? This is how punch card looks like. No? So ito yung uh, before, ay, but ano, but may commercial. <laughs> yeah, no? So this is how uh, the punch card looks like. Ano ba mo pala? Anyways, yan. Basta yan yung itsura niya, no? 
That's the punch cards, no, na, which is ito yung ginagamit noon na input and output and storage. No? So yung punch cards, the, the paper, uh, paper tape no, and magnetic tape, no, as you can see here. No? So these punch cards can only store no, yung mga maliliit na bytes na hindi katulad ng mga storage na meron tayo ngayon. No, na all those smaller sizes, no, but can store uh, terabytes no, sa mga devices na ginagamit uh, natin uh, nowadays. So let's go back. Hang on. Okay. No? So yun, no? uh, that's the first generation of computers. Okay. Until such time, no, na nagkaroon, no, ng, uh, uh, by the way, this is the uh, uh, pinakasummary, no, ng generations of computers. So we have the first to fifth generations. No? So after the first generation of computers, now with the use of vacuum tubes no until such time na nagkaroon ng second generation of computers no from the year uh, itong second generation of computers sa manuals from the year uh, 1959 to 1965 no so during this period of the second generation of computers no ito yung period or history ng computer no na kung saan it makes a significant na advancements no and developments in the computer technology no compared to the first generation of computers no so yung mga computers ng time na ito no it becomes smaller it becomes faster and the computers are now more reliable no compared to the first uh, generation of computers no so dito naman na uso yung component ng computer na tinatawag natin na transistor okay so from vacuum tubes ng first generation the second generation dito na develop yung tinatawag natin na transistors no so um with the use of um this transistor no itong itong transistor na ito no ito yung pinalit no sa vacuum tubes no and itong uh, transistors na ito these are uh, solid state electronic devices or device no that can amplify and switch uh, electronic signals no, and with the use of these transistors, no, the second generation of computers, no, it becomes uh, much cheaper compared to the first generation. Uh, it requires lesser power consumption no, and naging more compact siya in size compared to the first generation of computers. No? So dahil lumiit na in size, itong second generation of computers, no, they no longer require you know, large rooms no, or uh, to house these computers. Now making them more accessible no, for a broader range of uh, users. No? When it comes to the language naman, no, the second generation of computers, no, dito nagsimula na gumamit ng tinatawag natin na assembly languages, no, which is uh, assembly language is a low-level programming language no, that are easier for humans to understand no, and to work with uh, the machine language of the first generation computers. No, in short, uh, dito sa second generation of computers na ito, no, this made programming more accessible and efficient. No, when it comes naman sa data input and data storage, no, yung punch cards and yung magnetic tape, uh, mag magnetic tape pa rin ang ginamit. No, Kung baga ang naging development lang dito sa second generation compared sa first generation is nag-iba lang no, yung technology na ginamit. Now, from vacuum tubes, naging transistors. Okay? Um, next, of course, na after the second generation of trend, uh, computers, no? uh, let's continue with the third generation of computers. So, ito naman, uh, sa third generation of computers, no, it's between the year of uh, 1965 to 1971. Okay, tama. 1965 to 1971, ano saan dito naman uh, nagkaroon no, ng pinatawag natin na integrated circuits. No, as you can see on the presentation. No, so this is how the integrated circuits look like. No? Um, dito, no, itong integrated circuit na ito, ito naman yung ipinalit doon sa transistors ng second generation. No, and this integrated circuit was invented by Jack Kelby. No, Jack Kelby invented the integrated circuit. No, itong integrated circuits na ito or we known as ICs, IC, 
no uh, as abbreviation niya uh, this integrated circuit this is a tiny silicon chip no that contain multiple transistors and other components no so from first generation to the third generation no paliit ng paliit no so this uh this uh chips no, or uh, ic chip no were much smaller naging more reliable and it uh, it is consuming less power no than the individual transistors used in the second generation no so dahil integrated circuit na ang ginamit naging mas mabilis ang uh, naging processing speed no and computational capabilities ng third generation of computers no na naging dahilan no kung bakit uh, ang third generation of computer has made it possible no na makapag-perform ng more complex na calculations and makapag-process ng data ng more quickly no expanding the range of applications for uh, computers no when it comes naman sa memory advancement no from the magnetic tape uh, from the first and second generation of computers uh, dito sa third generation of computers dito ngayon no nagkaroon ng improvement no from the magnetic core memory no it becomes uh, a faster no and larger se semiconductor memory or yung uh, tinatawag natin ngayon na RAM no or RAM uh, random tawag ba, RAM random access memory no which is uh, made possible no dahil sa integrated circuits no so dito rin sa third generation of computers no during this era no the development and use of operating systems become more common no so yung mga operating systems like yung uh, IBM uh, OS 360 no operating system 360 ng IBM and the uh, Unix no were introduced in this era na naging dahilan kung bakit ang computer is naging more user friendly no and uh, naging an efficient way to manage computer resources no and execute programs no bukod sa operating system dito sa third generation dito rin sa third generation of computers na itong na-introduce yung concept ng tinatawag natin na time sharing systems no pag sinabi natin time sharing time sharing systems no because of this time sharing systems concept no naging possible or it allowed multiple users no to interact with a single computer ng simultaneously no so dito sa third generation na nagsimula yon no yung tinatawag natin na time sharing computers no uh, itong time sharing concept na ito uh, yun nga it, it it becomes possible or it allowed multiple users to interact with a single computer ng simultaneously no so once again dito sa third generation of computers this mark a significant step no toward the development of multi-user no and multitasking environments ng computer no so aside sa operating systems and sa time sharing systems dito din sa latter part ng third generation na ito nagsimula yung tinatawag natin na GUIs are you familiar with GUI or the graphical user interfaces familiar kayo doon no? yes Dylan can you explain uh, to us in uh, 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 in an easy to understand way, kung ano yung graphical user interface. Uh, I, think, I think it's a graphic user interface. Is kung ano po yung nakaflash sa screen, like kung paano po sila mag access ng features. Okay. Sige. Yeah. Uh, sige, explain to later, you know. Um, Itong GUIs no, or graphical user interfaces, no, although nung third, nung third generation, no, hindi pa siya ganun ka-advance no, sa mga next generations. Uh, pero sa latter part ng third generation of computers, nagsimula yung concept ng GUI or the graphical user interfaces. No? So I guess dito sa third generation na ito nagsimulang magamit yung mouse no, as a pointing device and yung keyboard to have an interaction with computer. No? So uh, then after no, the third generation of uh, computers no, between the late 1970s and early 1980s, 1971 and 1980, no, uh, ito naman yung era of the fourth uh, generation ng computer. No? Uh, so kung sa third generation is na-develop 
ang paggamit ng mga integrated circuits. No, dito naman sa fourth generation of computers, no, ang naging most revolutionary uh, development dito, no, is yung paggamit naman ng microprocessor type. No, so dito naman nagkaroon ng VLSI, no, that stands for as you can see on the slide, VLSI, very large scale integration, no? So itong microprocessor type na ito, no, ito yung single na integrated circuit that contains all the functions ng CPU or the central processing unit, no? So dahil dito sa pagka-develop ng microprocessors, no, yung mga computers during this generation of computers is naging even smaller, no, naging more powerful and naging more energy efficient, no, which eventually naging dahilan or it leads to the development of personal computers or PC, no? And uh, dito dumami na yung may katayahang bumili, no? Kasi naging mas affordable na siya, uh, which is it's it, it, it's uh binenta no it's being sold by Apple and IBM company no so Apple and IBM yung mga pioneer na nagbenta ng computer no uh, kasi when it comes to usage um nagamit na itong uh, fourth generation of computers uh in a wide range of applications no from word processing to gaming no gaming kasi according sa mga history references na nabasa ko no Dito sa fourth generation of computers, it brought about the growth of the video game industry. No? So ito yung mga, uh, yung mga home video uh, game consoles no? like the Atari 2600. I'm sure hindi nyo na naabutan to. And yung mga early offered games no? na naging popular among users no? during this generation. No? So yung mga microprocessors no? such as the Intel uh, 40 Intel 4004 and uh, 8008, no? So itong fourth generation na, na ito ng computers, ito yung naging mark of the beginning no? of the modern era ng mga personal computers, lalo na ng mga nagagamit natin ngayon, no? So when it comes to the operating system naman, uh, in, in this fourth generation of computers, no? dito nagsimula yung pagkakaroon ng advanced na operating systems, no? like the MSDOS, no ng uh, Microsoft no yung Macintosh system software ng Apple and uh, later on no dito nagsimula rin yung Microsoft Windows no that provided user friendly interface no uh, that provide file management no and multitasking capabilities no so dahil nagkaroon na dito ng advanced no, operating systems in Windows no yung GUI no na tinas na, na tinanong ko kanina or graphical user interface during this generation is naging more sophisticated na uh, dahil nga nagkaroon na ng Windows, nagkaroon na ng icons, nagkaroon na ng mouse-driven interactivity no, na naging dahilan na ma-enhance yung user experience na paggamit ng uh, computer. No, so pag sinabi natin graphical uh, user interface, ito yung for example, di ba sa computer, ito yung example, may icon. Pag kinik natin yung icon sa computer, it allow us to control it. No? So yung tinatawag natin na graphical um, user interface. No? For example, may icon. Uh, itong itong uh, next button na to, pag click natin, sumusunod sa atin. No? Pag nag-click tayo, pag may in-open tayo with the help of the the, uh, the, the cursor, no? the mouse, and even sa keyboards, pag nag-type tayo, lalo ba siya sa PC. No? Ito yung tinatawag natin na graphical user interface or the GUI. Okay? Ito yung GUI, no? So, um, when it comes naman sa uh, storage devices, no, dito sa fourth generation nagkaroon ng development or more uh, advanced storage devices tulad ng mga HDDs or the hard disk drives, no? And yung tinatawag natin ng mga floppy disk. No, I don't know kung may uh, mga makaabot ko sa inyo ng floppy disk, but floppy disk is something like uh, a slim na or a thin na uh, cassette tape, no, which is used for storage, no, uh, floppy disk. Uh, so with the use of these devices, no, uh, HDDs and floppy disk, no, uh, nagkaroon ng higher storage capabilities, no, and faster access to data making and to data management, no, and uh, uh, naging ano, no, naging convenient uh, or naging efficient, no, yung data retrieval and data storage, no. Then after this uh, fourth generation, of course, the last one, 
or the fifth generation of computer now from mid 80s uh, 1980s to the present no so ito na yung generation of computers na kinagis na natin no and kinalaki kinalakihan natin no? na kung saan masasabi natin na this fifth generation of computers now represent no a period of innovation and advancements in computer technology no na kung saan dito naging possible yung mga bagay na nung una na na, na nung bago pa nagkaroon ng first generation of computers is malabong mangyari no, but because of the continuous technological advancements and continuous technological improvements, no, nagkakaroon tayo or nagkaroon tayo ng mga innovations na nagagamit natin sa mga computer technologies and computer systems no, na nagagamit natin ngayon. No, as we give examples in the first part no, ng ating discussion. No? So this is the generation of computers that yung pinagdaanan no, ng computers. No? And... Um, uh, so as a summary, no, so this is uh, the generations no, na pinagdaanan ng computers. Now we can see from these illustrations or we can identify here no, uh, the periods of each generations in development ng technologies or core elements no, na naging dahilan or na, na naging evolution din no, na ginamit sa mga computers. No? So from vacuum tubes, naging uh, transistors, to integrated circuits, to VLSI or microprocessors, to AI and ULSI, no? So, uh, ito yung ano niya, no? Ito yung uh, naging evolution, no? Kung bakit tayo ngayon nagkaroon ng other uh, generation computers, no? Um, ano ba? Yeah. So, here, no, are the list of the advancements no na nangyari or innovations that is brought about no by the fifth generation of computers no so una una we have the ai no or the artificial intelligence no so ito artificial intelligence no it is said that uh, one of the defining features no ng fifth generation of computers is yung pagkakaroon no ng significant emphasis sa ai and machine learning no which is because of this ai no nagkaroon na ng kakayahan ang mga computer systems to have uh, the capability no na gayahin no yung human intelligence and uh, decision making no dito naman sa parallel processing no so aside sa AI no nandiyan yung uh, parallel processing na kung saan in order no to handle complex com uh, computation demands of AI no and other advances tasks no, so dito sa fifth generation of computers nagkaroon ng extensive use of parallel processing, no? Which is kapag sinabi natin parallel processing, sorry nagbubulol ako sa parallel processing, no? Meaning ito yung kakayahan ng computer na kung saan um yung multiple processors are working together simultaneously, no? That allows the computer system for faster, no, and more efficient computation, no? na kung saan meron tayong ginagamit o yun nga, tinatawag na GPUs no, or the graphical processing units. So, ito yung often na ginagamit uh, for parallel processing tasks na ng uh, computer systems. No? So we have we also have the uh, natural language processing uh, or the NLP. No? So itong uh, NLP no, na kung saan it is uh, ano siya, uh, subfield siya ng AI. No, that focuses on enabling computers. Uh, itong, itong NLP ang naging dahilan no, kung bakit yung mga computers can now understand, can now interpret and generate human languages. No? So ito yung, uh, itong NLP ang naging dahilan no, kung bakit yung mga application style na nagagamit like uh, voice recognition, no, yung mga chatbots, no, yung mga language uh, translation services, no, it is because of this natural language processing or the NLP. No, and the list goes on. No, so we have the distributed computing. Um, we have the advanced systems architecture. We have the quantum computing, cloud computing, IoT, Internet of Things, uh, deep learning. No, in which the rest of this on the list is mapag-uusapan natin and mag-discuss natin as we move forward with our discussions. Uh, all throughout this semester no, in this course introduction to uh, computing no so these generations no, na pinagdaanan ng computer 
uh, this generations of computers only highlights you know, how uh, computing you know, has become an integral part of our lives, of our daily lives, or mga pang-araw-araw uh, ginagawa. No? Uh, uh, kung saan, sa kahit na anong gawin natin, sa pang-araw-araw, kahit na sa ang lugar ay puntahan natin, no, computing is everywhere. No, kaya naman it's important, no, para sa inyo as future IT professionals in the world of computing, uh, to understand, no, these generations, no, which is essential sa inyo, no, who are pursuing careers in computer science, or software development, or IT management and other IT related fields in the near future, no, after you, uh, you graduate, no, so. Ayan, no? So, uh, that's the end of our lecture. Any questions? Any questions kayo? Clarifications? If no questions or clarifications, can I see the heart react option? Heart reacts. Uh, yes, Stephen, you're raising your hand. Sir, kaano lang po, as lang po, about po kanina sa may mechanical computer. Ano po yung ano, ano po yung gamit nila para mag-function like ngayon po sa atin. Yung computer po is ginagamitan po ng electronics para mapagana. Eh yung noon po, ano pong ginagamit nila para mag-function? Mechanical. Okay. Apo, sir. Ano ba ang pagkakaintindi natin ng word na mechanical? What do we mean, no, when we say mechanical? Like manual. Manual? Sige, Machine. Machine? Machine? Mano-mano, sir. Ano, no, sorry? Mano-mano? Yung may narinig ko? Okay. Yeah, going back, it's a good question, no? Uh, so, question ni Ms. Stephen, no? Ano ba yung pong, pong sa electronic era ng computer? No, we are using vacuum tubes, we are using transistors, we are using integrated circuits. Ano daw yung mga device, ano daw yung parang components na magpapapunction dun sa mga mechanical era ng uh, computers, no? So, dito sa first one, no, which is the abacus, no? Ito, as you can see, no? Uh, nakita ba na? Sa tingin niyo, is there any component or device used to, to, in order for it to function? Anyone would like to share an input? Okay. So, syempre, ito, uh, ang, ito lang, yung pinaka, sabihin natin, component niya. Uh, in order for it to function, they are using these beads no, to perform the arithmetic computations for abacus. No? Dito naman sa mechanical counting machine, no, parang it's more on, ano siya, parang yung sa typewriter something, na kung saan, di ba, may mga numbers ka na kailangan, kailangan computer. So parang dito, imamanual mo siya. As you can see dito, I, I think nakakita na ako nito before na sa isang museum. Uh, na Parang ito, in order for this, na, di ba, for example, mag-add ko or mag-subtract ka, merong mga numbers kasi dyan, no, as you can see. May mga numbers dyan. So, for example, mag-add ka ng, uh, mag-add ka kung mara ng 5 plus 5. Pag inikot mo siya dyan, so parang dito, may mga lalabas dito yung mga figures. No? Lalo na kung pang maramihan ang ikukumpute natin. So parang dyan siya lalabas. No? Parang, ina parang ang, ang mechanical device, to answer Stephen's question, it's more on the gears. Alam niyo yung gears? Yung icon ng setting? Alam niyo yung icon ng setting? Yan. So, yun yung uh, parang component niya in order for this mechanical counting machine to function. So, more on iikot-ikotin mo lang siya, then may mga lalabas dyan mga, mga numbers. So, that's how the mechanical counting machine operates. Dito naman, sa Pascal's calculator, I actually don't have an idea kung paano ito ginagamit. Kaya wala akong idea kung paano. Um, pero more on mechanical, from the word mechanical itself, it's more on manual, na may mga mechanisms lang kung bakit siya nagkakaroon ng answers. Parang gano'n. No? Then sa... Uh, 
dito naman sa uh, analytical engine, no? Ang parang pinaka naging component nito kung bakit siya nag-function is because of the program or the algorithm na ginawa ni uh, Ada Lovelace, no? Which is uh, si Ada Lovelace niya is a mathematician, so siyempre uh, dahil ang mechanical era of computers or the analytical engine is used for computing, kaya nag-develop si Ada Lovelace ng computer algorithm for analytical engine na it's more on uh, uh, the computations or the calculations. No? So pag sinabi natin mechanical, once again, it typically refers to the physical no, or functional significance ng uh, mechanical system component or process. No? So ibig sabihin, hindi pa siya yung uh, wala pa siya yung may mga na-integrate no, ng mga uh, components no, not unlike dito sa electrical computing na meron na tayong mga tinapit na uh, vacuum tubes at meron na tayong mga tinapit na uh, mga transistors, meron na tayong mga nagamit na integrated circuits. Yeah. No? So ito, ito mga to, uh, parang i-input lang natin siya or ilalagay lang natin, sasalpat lang natin siya in real function kung ano yung function niya. No, na hindi katulad ng mga mechanical era na kailangan ng mga mechanical mechanisms in order for them to function. Okay? So, other questions? Questions? Reactions? Violent reactions? Yes, Matt. Matthews, Rafael. Uh, sir, my question lang, sir, my question lang po regarding to sa group presentation po, if that's okay po. Yung ano po, um, ask ko lang po if um, gaan po katagal yung duration po nung pag sa group presentation namin? Ah, gaano katagal? It depends on you kung gaano katagal yung presentation na um, i-discuss ninyo. No, but for me, no? Uh, doon pala sa ano no, doon pala sa group, group reportings na gagawin natin, if you can make it as fun as possible, no, pwede nyo gawin sa simula, magpag-games kayo or something, which is dapat in relation or medyo connected or related din sa topics of your reporting, no, then later on, i-connect ninyo, no, then uh, you have all the time, no, to use uh, sa inyong reporting. So, if you want to maximize the two hours, you can do so. Or uh, if you want three hours, pwede nyo i-request sa akin na, sir, three hours po kami mag-present. Uh, gawin po natin 9.30. So, we can do that. Or kung gusto nyo naman, sir, mag-7.30 to ano tayo, to 10.30 kasi may daily time po kami ng ganito hours. No, or if kayong bahala, kung gusto nyo i-maximize yung five hours natin, why not? No, or kung meron kayong mga ipapagawang activities, uh, you can inform me beforehand na, sir, mag-present mag po kami ng two hours. Then meron po kami pa activity sa classmates po namin ng three hours. Now we can also do that. No? Uh, you can make it as fun as possible or as creative as possible. No? Uh, kasi yun, may ginagawa din akong rubrics no? uh, for grading the, the uh, reporting. Then after, aside pala sa reporting, uh, mag-prepare na rin kayo ng written document or written, uh, written report no, ng inyong uh, gagawin uh, presentation of the topics assigned to you. Okay? Are we clear? Clear po tayo? Sir, thank you po, sir. Uh, no more questions? Stop recording.